Okay, I would like to explain using an economic model why the 24-7 work culture that everybody hates is actually a tragedy of the common. So what I mean by this is basically um, when I ask my students how many of you want to work at a place where you're expected to respond to your boss over the weekend and during the evening times and you're sort of expected to be on call at all times. Well, nobody wants that. Nobody wants to be in a place like that 10 years after college. But um, yet this is something that we see all over the place, especially in um, consulting firms and in a lot of these very competitive industries. So what is going on? And I've built a model here where you're maximizing the probability of promotion. Now you could also do this as minimizing the chances that you get fired or whatnot. There's different ways of setting this up. I just chose probability of promotion where you're choosing how responsive are you to your boss over the weekend and during the evenings. That's the choice variable here. And there's a benefit and a cost built into this where the benefit of responding quickly to your boss is of course that it increases your probability um, that you'll be promoted. It sort of uh, puts you in the good graces of your boss. Now the cost here is that when you respond all the time to your boss, that changes the average responsiveness of all employees in the company. And um, the boss sort of promotes people based on um, where you fall relative to other people in the company. And so um, you're sort of contributing to this fact that by doing this, it, there's a negative effect on this term here. Now, what makes this a tragedy of the commons? Well, there's a couple of things. One is, one is the fact that your responsiveness to your boss doesn't have a huge effect on the overall average responsiveness to the boss of everyone in the company. So the elasticity of that is roughly equal to zero. But, and, and of course, when it's roughly equal to zero, that's a drop in the bucket problem. Um, that's how we describe that in economics. But the fact that everybody is making this decision and they're mainly going to make it with respect to this relationship here, trying to get the promotion, means this whole thing is going to be driven up and that is a tragedy of the commons. So the second thing that makes this a tragedy of the commons is that it's driven by a benefit to you, which is the benefit of your chances of improving uh, your job prospects, yet there's a cost to the group. So the, the average responsiveness of everybody acts like a cost, that we have these expectations that none of us like. And um, there's this drop in the bucket thing. These are the features of a tragedy of the commons. It's benefit to you, cost to the group. But the cost to the group comes in this sort of drop in the bucket way where you're not contributing that much to the cost of the group. It's just the fact that everybody does this, that makes this, that drives up this expectation to a place that nobody's happy with. So this is a classic tragedy of the commons and this situation and things like it happen all of the time where everybody doesn't like the expectation that gets set based on everybody's individual choice but because everybody's individual choice has such a small impact on the group expectation nobody puts very much weight on this when they're optimizing. So um, tragedy of the commons is very common and this is just one way that it shows up in the workplace that nobody likes.